Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book and record to play for you. Today's book is Starberry Shortcake. The circuits come to tap, come to the Starberry Land for 1982. So let's get started. This is your Strawberry Shortcake read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure. Open your book, and we will start the story of the day the circus came to Strawberry Land. And remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. Normally, things are peaceful and quiet in Strawberry Land. Oh, everyone is busy enough, picking berries to take to Sunflower Market. But every once in a while, something really exciting happens. Why, just last week, something so special happened that everyone is still talking about it. Let me tell you how it all began. It was early morning as the sun was just beginning to peek over the top of Sunday Mountain when Strawberry Shortcake heard a loud knocking at her door. When she opened the door, there stood Huckleberry Pie. He was very excited and all out of breath. Good morning, Huckleberry! said Strawberry Shortcake. Isn't it a beautiful morning? I'll say, exclaimed Huckleberry Pie. Maybe beautiful isn't a good enough word. You heard the news? News? Asked Strawberry Shortcake. I haven't heard any news this morning. It's been very quiet around here. Strawberry could tell that whatever this news was, it must be extra special. She had never seen Huckleberry quite this excited before. Come on with me. Shouted Huckleberry Pie, I've got something I want to show you. He grabbed Strawberry's hand, and together they ran across her front lawn towards the path that led to Sunflower Market. When they reached the big oak tree by the side of the road, they stopped. Now, said Huckleberry, as he pointed towards the side of the tree, you can see for yourself. Strawberry Shortcake looked up. There, nailed to the tree trunk, was a bright, colorful poster. The poster was covered with paintings of jugglers, clowns, and even a tiger. Strawberry Shortcake stood on her tippy tippy toes and read the poster aloud. He's a justifying trapeze artist. Thrilled with a grand parade of elephants. Run of the funny faced clowns. The colossal, the stupendous, the horrid runner's circus will appear in Strawberry Land for one day only. This Shortcake didn't know what to say. Her friend was right. The chances of Huckleberry saving the other 94 cents in one day looked pretty slim. She scratched her head and thought. Huckleberry Pie turned away and kicked a pebble across the green lawn. Oh, well, I really didn't want to go to the dumb old circus anyway. It's just for kids. Don't be silly, said Strawberry Shortcake. Of course you'll go to the circus. We'll both go. But how? Asked Huckleberry. Maybe you have enough money for the admission, but I sure don't. Well, actually, my piggy bank is almost empty, too. But I have a plan, a very special plan. 
Strawberry was sure that if she and Huckleberry Pie worked hard and picked berries all day, they could collect enough to sell at Sunflower Market the next day. That way, they would be sure to have enough money for the circus and even for some cotton candy, too. All day long, they worked in the berry patch, picking the ripest and most delicious strawberries and huckleberries they could find. By sunset, their baskets were filled to the top with red and purple berries. They placed the baskets on Strawberry's front porch, where they would stay cool and fresh. It was almost sunset when Huckleberry Pie started for home. Strawberry Shortcake was very tired. She fixed supper for herself and Custard, her kitten, and then crawled into bed. She pulled the covers up over her head, and soon she was fast asleep. All night long, the dreams of the circus tumbled through her mind. Strawberry Shortcake's plan worked like a charm. The next afternoon, she and Huckleberry Pie returned from Sunflower Market. They had almost ten whole dollars in their pockets. Ten dollars was enough money for them to take not only themselves, but all their friends to the circus as well. On Saturday morning, Escargot, the friendly snail, arrived with his cart to take all the strawberry kids to the circus. Said Strawberry Shortcake. Everybody in! Huckleberry Pie, Strawberry Shortcake, and all the strawberry kids climbed into the cart, and Escargot began pulling them towards the circus ground. His progress was slow, but steady. In an hour or so, they were almost there. <laughs> Shouted Strawberry. I can see the pink Look at all the Listen to that music, exclaimed Huckleberry Pie. What a play! Strawberry Shortcake paid everyone's admission, and soon they were all inside on the bleachers. The ringmaster blew his whistle, and the show began. There were clowns with rubber noses and big floppy shoes, and there were beautiful ladies with arms and a thin wire high overhead. Everyone held their breath with excitement. Popcorn, jugglers, elephants, it seemed as if something wonderful was always happening. The strawberry kids cheered and clapped their hands for every act. During the intermission, Huckleberry Pie turned to Strawberry Shortcake. His eyes were wide with excitement. Gee, thanks, Strawberry, for all your help. If it wasn't for your idea, none of us would have made it to the circus today. Oh, you're welcome, replied Strawberry modestly. I was happy to help. After all, that's what friends were for. So that was Starbury Shortcake, the circuit come to Starbury Land from 1982. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. And our next book will be... Raspberry Tart and Rhubarb.